but I'm looking up and looking forward. There's nothing back there for you or me. So you say you're broken, beaten, used and mistreated, tired, shattered, bruised and battered. Well, I guess Meg won't be needing this anymore. Ariadne, you barely knew Meg. Come on. I, I know it's kind of upsetting. She was my best friend after all, but we still need some kind of plan. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we have to get the High Chancellor back. That's the only choice. There's no way the Magicals are gonna be able to unite and get anything done without him. Yeah, and that's a pretty tall order. Well... We know that Greta and Pim have him, but we have no idea where. I mean, I'm sure I could do some kind of tracking spell, but they might have some defenses against magic or something, especially if they had agents working on the inside. Who knows what tricks they have up their sleeve. We'll just have to be one step ahead of them. We already are, in a way. They're probably expecting some kind of magical squad to come and extract the High Chancellor, but they're not going to be expecting two girls. I guess we should start with the tracking spell, right? Fonlo. We have to follow that light, and it's going to be fast. It's slowing down. That means we're getting close. What's it doing, Ariadne? Why is it just going in a circle like that? Uh, I I'm not sure. I think that means something's gone wrong with the spell. No! Ariadne, that sounded an awful lot like Meg to me. Come on, let's go. Meg! Cassie, what are you doing here? How did you get in? That doesn't matter right now. Ariadne and I heard you scream. Is everything okay? I was just sneaking around and I found a body lying there on the ground. I, I think it was the High Chancellor or something. And I reached out like to touch it, but right before I did, the body just dissolved and, and now it's gone. I talked to Greta and she told me that the High Chancellor was fine earlier, but then I overheard her when she was in another room and she was saying that she knew that he was weak because, like, his life force was, like, intertwined with that of some tower, and then when he was away from the tower for too long, he was gonna die, so I knew that I had to go find him, but then, then I was I was just too late. I'm so sorry, Ariadne. I should have listened to you. She was just trying to trick me and she let she let an old man die. That's just... Ugh. I was so blind. I don't know how much of her plan my parents thought up, but I don't want to be involved in any of it anymore. Meg, I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have had to see that. You're, this is all so new to you. It must be, like, just completely overwhelming. But his his body was right there, you say? We were, we were too late. Again. Oh god. Cassie, what's going to happen? There, there's no leader of the magical world. Pim is going to get everything it wants, and they're just going to crush us. There's, there's nothing we can do. The High Chancellor is supposed to bless his successor before he dies, but now there's no successor and no High Chancellor. Wait, guys. This might sound crazy, but... I think I have an idea. Greta has no idea that I saw any of this or that you guys are here, and I think we can use that to our advantage. While I was eavesdropping, I overheard another conversation. Some of Greta's assistants or whatever were talking about some new magical leader who's stepping up in the High Chancellor's absence. I didn't hear the name or anything, but apparently this new leader is really, really radical and very anti-unmagical. So, literally the polar opposite 
of Greta then? Precisely. And maybe this is a little far-fetched, but hey, Pim kidnapped the High Chancellor. What if we kidnap Pim or Greta and this radical, magical leader? But what good is that going to do? They're just going to yell at each other and argue. True, but if we kidnap them, both sides will be helpless, and maybe we'll be able to convince them to negotiate. After all, they have some common goals. They both don't want the whole world to be destroyed. Hmm. It sounds risky, and I'm not sure if we could pull it off, but I can't really think of anything better to do. I can try to lure Greta. I think she knows that I have magic, but... She also clearly knows about whatever cloaking spell was put on me, and I haven't given her any indication that I've been able to use magic yet at all. Cassie and I can sneak back to Cavalith and get whoever the radical leader is. Clearly they've been using Cavalith as a base since magic isn't working in the tower. Wait, but where are we going to take Greta and the other leader after we kidnap them? We can't go back to either of our houses. They're probably both being watched. We'll have to hold them somewhere near the portal to Cavalith. Once we get someone through, there's no way we're going to be able to drag them around D.C. looking for a place to hide. And the portal's really close to headquarters, too. I don't think I'm going to be able to drag Greta very far, either. Hey, Meg. I think you're going to need this back. Thanks for holding on to it for me, Ariadne. You're the best. Okay, great, great. What a touching moment. But we gotta get going, guys. We don't have a lot of time to do this. Bye, Meg. We'll see you later, okay? And good luck. We're back. We have her. We have the magical radical leader. It's safe to take the blanket off, right? Meg, how could you do this? Don't you want to finish your parents' work? You're right, Greta. I do want to finish my parents' work. And what you're doing isn't what they wanted. You ungrateful girl! After all I offered to you! Uh, Cassie? What about prisoner number two? Go for it, Ariadne. Turn around, prisoner. <laughs> 